So I was on the Glowforge owners forum and I saw this post from a user named Matt22 who made a stratified bowl. And it was basically just a bunch of geometric shapes cut out, just cut inset of each other. So it's all using a single piece of material and then cutting those out. And then when you're gluing them up, you glue them at a slight angle to each other. So they all kind of support themselves. So I went to Illustrator and wanted to make a tree ring style bowl. So first I make a circle in Illustrator and I keep the dimensions even. We can change these later so it doesn't really matter what you start with, but I figure about three quarter inch is more than enough per ring that'll, and that'll work. Then I use my pen tool to add some anchors around the circle and you can add as few or as many as you want, you know, it's your design. Um, so once added, I switch over to the direct selection tool and then drag my anchors and handles around until I have a shape that I like. Then make a copy of my circle and once I'm satisfied with it, I then bring down the width and height by 3 quarter inch each time and keep doing that. And once I have the rings, I can then rotate the bowl so that its lowest height is vertical so I can... Then I can mess the dimensions with the ring selected so that I can make them the shape even weirder if I want. I then decided to prototype this on foam core instead of doing it initially on a piece of proof grade material from Glowforge because that's expensive, about 25 bucks a sheet. So then after printing this into foam core, I then have to do a little cutting out. With foam core on a laser, you need it print very fast and powerful and the power on this can't get all the way through and it really singes the edges of the foam itself on the inside. So I had to do some cutting out of each of the shapes. So you can here you can see me doing that. And I, I make a line across it to kind of keep my bearings as once I have these in a bunch of pieces, I need them to line up still while I'm gluing them and start putting together this prototype with some PVA glue. I'm rotating it about a quarter of an inch each time. Uh, again, you don't have to be very exact with this. You just need to make sure each successive ring as you go down is supported by enough points on the lower ring so that it doesn't get too floppy. So I just kept on repeating this over and over, checking where my line is. And in the prototyping here, I'm just slathering everything up with glue because it's foam core and it's PVA glue. It's pretty cheap to work with. So then once I have my bowl here, I decide that I like it. Do some additional gluing. It looks pretty cool. I mean, a little crappy with the foam core. I decide to actually cut this out of proof grade material. So here you can see me start to take the pieces, get them all lined up. I also have an overhead view so you can see everything. I then make my line so I can keep everything in order. And what I'm doing here is as I'm putting these successive layers down, I'm keeping the paper, the contact transfer paper on there that comes with the Glowforge material. And I am outlining the smaller circle on the larger circle. And then I'm taking a sanding stick here and sanding just the areas where I need to actually cut. And then I'm applying a little bit of medium CA glue, aligning that up, putting it down, spraying some activator on it. Making sure I have the paper off on the upper half of the bowls as well. Spray some activator on it, holding in place, and then repeating. Again, tracing around, pulling off the paper, cutting out just where I have my trace lines so I know exactly where I need. Because once you pull that paper off, you're not really sure where you need to sand. So I have a cut in the wood, and then I use my little sanding stick and sand it between there. And just keep repeating that process over and over again.
finally putting on the bottom. And now once I have that all done, I pull off the top layer of paper. I then pull out some super thin CA glue. And what this does is because you're working with the edge of the plywood, it gets soaked up right into the plywood and really bonds really quickly. And the cleanup isn't too bad. I had a couple glue marks left over. But the end result is just gorgeous. I can't be more satisfied with this. You can take this and do multiple layers of it with different colors and so forth. It's just a beautiful little piece of art that's also a functional bowl.